Hello and welcome to another video in Beautiful UI in Xamarin Inform series. This is the part two of the video titled Custom Message Box in Xamarin Forms. Now, this was where we left off in the last video, the part one. Um, and in this video, what we'll be doing is we'll be making this a proper message box. We'll be able to pass in our title, pass in our message, and also we want to have two buttons here. We have uh, the OK button or a cancel button, then we'll handle what happens when the user clicks on those two buttons. Without wasting time, let's get started. OK, so now I'll, let me start from the message box at XAML. Uh, right here, we have, we have a button. So what I'm going to do is I will remove this, and I'm going to create a stack layout to house the two buttons, that is the yes, the OK button and the cancel button. So I'm going to have a stack layout here, yeah, and I'm going to set some properties. Let's set the grid row to one. Uh, we want to space one, the grid row to one. We want the spacing of zero. We want the the orientation to be horizontal and let's set the horizontal option to fill and expand okay we have that then the first button let's give it a name let's call it okay btn then let's set the text to okay Let's say text color to white. Let's set the background color to a pink color. Um, maybe one zero five five five. Then let's set the horizontal option to fill and expand. And uh, then let's undo the click event. Click. Let's generate a new event handler for it. Uh, say a new event handler. Or hit and let's close it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and uh, I'm going to deprecate it and change some property. Let's name rename this to cancel. Cancel PT here. Okay, uh, the text to cancel, the text color to white, uh, let's set the, the background color to dark gray, and uh, here yeah, let's under the click event with something else, uh, let's give it a new cancel. So now we have it, we have our two buttons uh, right here. To undo, um, so um, to undo the OK button and the uh, cancel button. And one other property that I want to add to this button, let's add the height request for each of this. Let's set to 45. I'm going to copy this and um, I'll paste this here. OK, so we have that. Then the next thing we want to do is we want to be able to pass in the title of the message and the, the title of the, of the message and of, of course the message that I want to show to the user. So what I will do is I'll go to the message box, examine.cs. And right here, I'm going to pass in two parameters. Uh, that's a string type two and a string, string message. And also, uh, before we continue, let's go back to our message box to Samuel, and uh, let's give this X name as our title. Let's call it title text. Then uh, the message, let's give it a name, uh, MSG text. Okay, now that we have this, I now go back to our message box to Xamarin.cs, and after Calling the constructor, initializing the component. Let's set the title 
title text the text let's set the value to the title that we're passing and also let's set the message text dot text and let's set it to the message that we're passing okay here we have that what we want to do now is to handle the uh, event that I was going to raise when the user click on uh, either the OK button or the close button. We are going to remove this as we are not going to need them again. Uh, so I'm just commenting out for now. Okay, so next we want to do is we want to create a public event handler. Public event handler. And uh, we want to pass in uh, the argument. This uh, will be what's going to contain in the results that we're going to pass back. Uh, to whoever is, uh, um, whoever caused this, um, when this event is raised, yes, these are the arguments I'm going to pass. So, uh, the, the first thing I want to do is uh, let me first just come down here and create a class that's going to hold the uh, arguments. So, uh, let's call it public class dialog results. Dialog results. And right in the class, we have uh, two, two methods. Uh, one is a bool to undo success. Once to uh, know if the call is successful or not. Then also let's pass in, let's also create another property type of string. And uh, this will contain the message. Let's just create a, a message string that we're going to pass back. So we can come back here now and say public event handler dialog results and uh, let's call this event on dialog close on dialog closed. Okay. So now this was going to happen when the user clicks on OK. We want to uh, pop or pop uh, this. Um, this pop up I want to pop a sync. Let's go back to where it's being called from. But before that, we want to invoke the uh, event that has been raised. So what we're going to do is let's first of all invoke the event. So we do on dialog close. Let's check if it's null. It's not null. Invoke and uh, the object at the sender. This is the sender. That is the message box itself. And uh, the argument is going to be of type uh, dialog result. So let's create a new dialog result and let's pass in our success to be equal to true since this is okay. And uh, let's our message to be um, say uh, user clicks okay. Then we hand it like this. Then the last thing I want to do is to now pop the pop up. So I will go back. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to copy this to and replicate it in the cancel event. Also, we want to invoke the on dialog close, but we're going to set this to false. To false, and just say the user clicks cancel. Okay. So now we want to go back. Let's go back to the page where we are calling. That's the main page. This is the main page. We have um, we have this this button that we click to show pop up. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this into a stack layout. I'm going to wrap it in a stack layout. I want to stack two things together. Orientation. Uh, let's make it vertical. Then uh, I want to make the uh, horizontal option to be center, a vertical option also to be center. Let's move it like that. Okay. So I want to add another uh, another uh, control here and a label. Let's add a label. Let's give it a name of a uh, 
say results text. We want to use this to display the result of our dialogue. And let's give it the font size of say 18. Let's give it uh, a text color of white. Let's give it a text color of white. And um, what other thing do we are going to do? Uh, let's just set the horizontal option to center. Horizontal option center. And we should be good to go. So, the last thing we're going to do is to come to our main page. Yes, this is right here where we are calling the uh, message box. Uh, this is from here. When you, when you click on uh, here's our main page, our main page. So when you click on button dot click, this when you click on show pop up button that comes here. So we want to pass in. This is requesting for our title and message. So let's pass in uh, our title. Let's call it message. Let's call it congrats. Congrats. And let's pass in a message. Our title is congrats. And our message you say um, you can now you can now move on to to the next challenge. Okay. Then uh, before we show the pop up. Let's undo the the uh, on dialog close um, events. So we're going to say pop dot on dialog close. That is the event that we raise. So let's create uh, let's uh, close the course. Let's the sender and hack. Let's I'm going to take the hack event and. Uh, Let's use a lambda expression to create uh, our execution. So right inside here, result text, the text, result text, the text, and let's assign what's in our hugs dot message. So you can see there's a uh, message property in our dialogue results. I don't know why it's not showing the intelligence, but it's fine. Okay, so now that we have this, we cannot go ahead. Let's clean the solution. Clean succeeded. Let's run to see what we have. Okay, so we have our projects running, we have our app running. Let's click on show pop up. Now we have our pop up. We see we have congrats. You can now move to move on to the next challenge. And let's click OK. User clicks OK. Let's show pop up again. Let's click on cancel. User clicks cancel. So there you have it. That's how you and how you create a custom message box in Xamarin Forms using uh, the Hardware pop-up. All right, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel. This will encourage us to do more videos like this. Also click on the bell icon to get notification when we upload new contents in this series. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next video.